the way I kind of look at this is just a casual conversation of, you know, you went down this path before building a custom home and a lot of people are thinking about it, but they don't really know, have much perspective because it's something you don't do very often. So I just thought maybe if we could just ask you some questions and, and if you could just kind of share your thoughts and uh, along the way, um, whatever was most important to you. And I think it'd be really helpful for, you know, people that possibly walking in your shoes to, to hear that. So if that's sure. good with you guys, we can just go through with like, what was when you guys decided to build custom, like kind of what were you thinking about why custom and maybe a little bit about your background? Cause you had a really interesting situation. That's you could interesting. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll let you you okay. That, um, so we were never intending to build another house. Um, we built a log home pretty much ourselves and with the help of Amish, but we designed it ourselves literally on a piece of graph paper. There was no plans, no nothing. We just drew it up and ordered the logs and put it together. Um, so that was in 2002, and we intended for that to be like our forever home. And last summer, we were in South Carolina on vacation, and we got a call from our neighbor saying our house was on fire. So we got in the car and drove home overnight, and by the time we got home, it was pretty much completely gone. Um, so, yeah, we... Um, you know, once you collect yourself and figure out that you have to start over, we thought briefly about another log home, but we were concerned that we were just going to try to duplicate and it was never going to be the same. Um, so then we, I think we came to the Ashland models we did, yeah. right away, maybe within the first like two weeks um, and just started you know, opening our minds to something completely different. And as we started looking, we knew that we wanted, if we weren't going to do another log home, we wanted to go a completely different direction. So we went to the models, we went to the models in Akron. Um, and then we just started looking at like sort of all of your models. Um, we knew that we didn't want something super like cookie cutter, like, just normal, boring. <laughs> um, we wanted something really different and something that we could, because we are older doing this, something that we could really put our mark on and sort of pick and choose what we wanted and be able to make changes and really make it our own because the loss was so devastating. And I think that was one of our major concerns in the beginning was if we go this route, can we still make it feel like ours? So that's why custom really stuck out to us because we wanted it to feel like something we designed, something that we really put our stamp on to make it different, if that makes sense. Totally. So, so let me ask you this. Did you build on the exact same spot? We Be did. Because your spot is just stunning. I mean, it is it is so great. I can I can see why you were uh, wanted to stay right there. And yeah, um, so uh, that that that's great. Um, so okay, so you're early on. What were some of like your must haves? Like, what did you really like want or was motivating in a new in a new home? Um, definitely high ceilings. It's funny. I never typically like ranches at all, but this was one of the very first models. So we did the hookah um, and this was one of the very first models I saw online. Um, and obviously it's a ranch, but it doesn't feel like a ranch. Um, we wanted really high ceilings. We wanted lots of windows, um, fireplace, Charlie's in the background, Charlie, remember? <laughs> um, <laughs> fireplace, um, what else? Decks. Yeah, decks, like taking advantage of outside space. We wanted something with like log accents just to sort of, you know, remind us of our old house. Um, something bright and airy and um, 
cozy too, not super modern, but um, that you can make feel cozy. But um, so those were our list of what we wanted. But then once we saw this model, there were other things that now were like, it's fantastic that we hadn't thought of in the beginning. You know, it's, it's interesting of all the homes we build, I'd say over 60% are ranch or one story homes for that exact reason. People love the high ceilings and the openness and it just, yeah. the home just lives so big. And, and you can see that in your background there. It's just really, really yeah. cool to see. Um, uh, any, as you went through the model homes, as you went through your kind of your whole design process or your, your kind of your, call it your Pinterest list of what was uh, most important to you. Did, did, did you get any inspiration from our model homes or how, how was that? Like, was that helpful or maybe just talk about that for a minute? So we really liked um, the Olivia, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. And we really liked that big fireplace. Um, we were really drawn to that and then all of the windows. Um, so again, it still feels cozy, but you can still see outside a lot too. Um, just the open floor plans. What else did we see that we, um, I th it, it's funny because we obviously didn't have anything painted before because it was all literally logs. We didn't have any drywall in our old house. So just thinking about like what colors or it was such a new experience for us. So just seeing all of the different um color choices and just lay out with like fireplace stone and that just gave us a lot of ideas that we hadn't thought about really before and in the kitchens as well that, yeah uh, yeah there was yeah. and the pantry and laundry room i didn't have either of those before <laughs> So that was exciting. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. You you said, you know, you built a ranch home, but you got ideas from a two-story home. So it, it's always great to go and see because you never know where inspiration is going to come from. For sure. And like the front door is the the real tall front door, uh, like the, the nine-foot door as opposed to like a standard right. door. So right. uh, it it is really stunning when you walk up to the front door. So yeah. There was when we were walking around all of them, we would make notes like we really like this, we really like this. And then when we picked a, a design and then sat down for our design meeting, you know, we sort of pulled all those notes back out. And I why did you end up picking Schumacher Homes? Honestly, I just I trusted you and what you had built. And I saw this in the very beginning when it was just you and like, you know, one or two model homes. And I believed that what you did was going to be quality and that your people would take really good care of us, which they did. Um, as soon as we went to the very first model, one of the women in Ashland, when we told her what had happened, they were just so kind. And um, we just trusted that it would be good. Um, that was pretty much, I can't. But, and also if you compare Schumacher to the other uh, custom home uh, builders in this area, uh, there's really noticeable differences in yeah. the quality um, and the, the craftsmanship uh, and the customability, right. honestly. Uh, and we didn't get to any point to where uh, we thought about designing anything with any of the other uh, builders. Uh, but I can't imagine, like uh, you asked about the meeting, uh, the design meeting. I, I can't imagine uh, the patience that it takes uh, for, for someone to sit down with customers and go through and make big, because, you know, they are like, you know, and we're sitting here at the island, uh, the soapstone, and uh, you know, Wendy had thought long and hard about like countertops. We were actually thinking about new countertops in the house uh, that b before this, uh, and uh, soapstone is really what she wanted. But I was pushing her towards something else. <laughs> anyway, that's a different story. But uh, just making all of those decisions, uh, I don't. 
think you would get that personal uh, attention uh, at, at the other builders. And it felt like there was so many more choices too, no, besides just sure. design like models. Um, yeah. yeah, it just felt like a good choice. And once you saw the hookah, it, it yeah. was the dead. Uh, there was just too many really cool things yeah. about this hookah retreat uh, that is uh, that nobody else is no. doing. No, and it's this so really, perfect for our space. For yeah, sure. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, so the, that's that's great. So how how does your new home reflect your? personality your lifestyle you mentioned a few products but anything else come to mind um i think go ahead you go uh when you mentioned earlier about uh, all the windows and views <clears throat> we're big fans of uh uh the beachfront and so any way we could make it feel like we were at the beach all the time uh it you know, uh, we wanted to, to try to do that. Uh, and so uh, the setting uh, where we we have the, the house uh, was already pretty good for that. Uh, but the ability to, to add windows and move windows uh, and uh, the courtyard that comes with the design of this particular model uh, was just like, it's just all perfect. Yeah, and it, I think it's definitely more modern than our old house obviously but it still feels cozy and um yeah it's such a good mixture of of both but definitely um the high ceilings and everything being open although with the hookah which we never thought about before the separate like living space and sleeping space is amazing because i feel like now when i go into our bedroom I, it feels different. Like you feel relaxed because it's so separate. It's just like, yeah, it's sort of like, this is where things happen, but there is where we relax. And so I really like the separate spaces, which I didn't know before. It We've been in for almost, no, three months. And it still feels like we're on vacation. It feels like we're in like an Airbnb. And at some point in time, we're going <laughs> to... Oh, that's great. So you, yeah. <laughs> you, you've been through a, a pretty unique experience. I wish I could say it was uh, very unique, but I bet we have two or three families at any given time who have been in your shoes where they lost their home to the fire, which is just terrible. So thankfully, you guys all okay. But yeah. what was it like? What was it like when you first walked into your home when it was done? Like, what was that emotion like? Well, I I think because, I mean, Josh, who is our, I don't know what you officially call them, our site supervisor, um, he was very kind to us and we did visit a lot. <laughs> um, so every time we would come, even if it was just like 24 hours later, we were astonished by what got done. So it wasn't like we were far away and had that one big moment because we saw it, um, sort of every step of the way. But Leo and I did stay before we actually moved. We had, the couch was delivered. Like the house was officially ours. The couch got delivered like the next day. And Leo and I stayed, just the two of us the first night. And it was just, like I said, it felt like we were on vacation. It felt like this can't be real. And it's hard because we loved our old house so much. Somebody said to me, they said, what if you woke up and the whole thing was a dream? Would you be sad or would you be happy? And at this point, it's like, I might have to say I'd be sad if we lost this house now because it's just, it's just breathtaking. I, I, uh, I would definitely agree with that. And I, I spent a lot of time building our first house uh, and it was painful to come home to that. But uh, this place is just amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't like there was just that one big moment where we walked in, but every time we came and saw things done, it was like, I would send pictures to everybody and they're like, do those people sleep? Like what, how did this happen? <laughs> like, are they just there constantly? It was amazing. 
Um, in the very beginning, I asked Josh, I said, just, can you just give me an idea of when we'll be done? And he told me March or April, because we are, we broke ground the middle of November, like right before Thanksgiving. And he said, March or April. And I said, I'm going to think July. And he was, he was dead on. <laughs> so yeah, he, he's a great guy for sure. So, so you've been in there for three months, kind of getting everything settled away. What was the first celebration you had in your house? We actually haven't had anything big yet, but in two weeks, a week and a half, we're having a huge graduation party for Charlie and like a welcome home party. So oh, that's great. Yeah. We haven't had anything big yet. Sure. Kind of maybe a, a contrast of now that you've been in your new house for three months, anything where living is a little different in the new pe plan, the new floor, uh, layout or any of the new features that say you know, make life easier or uh, might be surprising or whatever was the kind of like, like a three month reflection. There's definitely more privacy because <laughs> our old house, our bedroom was in the loft. So it was just open. Okay. Have our own like wing. <laughs> um, so that's really, really nice. Um, the laundry room is wonderful. I never had a laundry room before. Um, the pantry is amazing. Um, what else do we talk about all the time? And just, we have like, um, we have an extra bedroom and we have a room that we turned into like a little TV room. We didn't have any of that before the kids are both, we finished the basement. So the kids both have their own space downstairs. Um, yeah. And there's so much outside living spaces here with the design of the house that it creates. That's really cool. Yeah. Wow. I, I'm definitely got to show pictures because your setting is so cool. I mean, I, it's to die for. I think everyone will, you know, it's great hearing your passion and coming through, but I think we got, we're going to definitely show your, your, the, the drone shot that you're setting. And I know you guys are just about done with your landscaping, but it, you, you, it did such a nice job putting the home on the lot. It's just, it looks so great. So well done. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, um, Let's see. Is there, Again, I always love asking homeowners this, and especially now you've been in there for a little bit. Is there anything you'd change in your house? Looking back, is there anything you'd do differently? I, the only thing I think that we would do different are things that didn't have anything to do with you. Um, it was more in like finishing the basement, like we probably should have put in an extra sink here or more outlets there. But upstairs, I can't. I can't, I don't think I've said ever like, oh, I wish we would have done this. Like, I don't no. Uh, no. And no. How, about, how, how about any, now you've been through it. Um, any advice to people, future homeowners going down this path? Uh, anything that you would like to tell them or um, that might be helpful? I think that if, if you, if you know you want something, you should do it. Cause I feel like, like for instance, I wanted a farmhouse sink. I wanted the soapstone countertops. My friends were joking with me and they kept, they were calling me upgrade <laughs> <laughs> that much. But if there's things that you really, really want, you should just, you should just do it. I mean, I think you'll regret it if you don't um, down the line, if you can swing it, you should do it. Yeah. But um, other other than that, um I, I, I just breathe. <laughs> um yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of decisions. It's a lot of little pieces, but you guys made it as easy as possible and it's fun if you um you know, I think in a typical situation it could be really, really fun. It became fun for us. It just took a little bit. Especially it I think it became more fun for Wendy, especially when uh, it was easier for her to like envision yes. because things started like coming together physically here on the mm -hmm. site. Uh, like I, I could see it uh, 
beforehand. Uh, I'm not the best at that, like yeah. visualizing things until there's actually walls and yeah. And decorating was super fun. Yeah, that <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you guys have been great. No, I appreciate you just spending the time going through that. It really means a lot. 